Big medical headline uh, tonight about something that's on millions of dinner tables probably right now, that salt shaker. A new study out of Harvard linking one in 10 deaths in this country to excessive salt. So how much is too much as American families sit down to dinner tonight or perhaps head out to dinner this weekend? We wanted the bottom line, and so let's bring in ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser. And Rich, something that you said to me in the newsroom today really struck me. It's not so much the salt shaker, but what we buy at the grocery store, what we order when we're out at the restaurant. That's right. On average, Americans eat out five times per week, and restaurants are incredibly good at hiding salt. Take a look at this. This is the lasagna at the Olive Garden. It has almost two days' worth of salt in it. And this, this is the rich Giblets from Applebee's, almost four days worth of salt. You know, before you go out to the chains, check their menu online and look for the low sodium options. Well, it's really about portions and what you order when you're out to eat. So how much salt are we really eating? All right, so this is the amount of salt that's recommended for an American to have in an entire year. Let me show you what the average American does take in. That's right. More than twice the amount of what's recommended. Extremely dangerous amounts of, uh, of salt. And a couple of options that, that work just as well. Yeah, you know, instead of reaching for that salt shaker, why don't you try a little lemon juice, a little pepper, some herbs. That'll give you the benefit of flavor without the salt. Easier said than done for people who love their salt, but this is eye-opening, this study, Rich. All right, thank you.